On this episode of The Balancing Act, how a Catholic private school is helping nurture well-rounded students, plus a facility that provides a comfortable place for healing. We're going to introduce you to a law firm that's changing the way you look at personal injury and employment law. All of this and much more on The Balancing Act. Every child deserves the best education possible. Take a look at this. Malcolm X once said, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. And now more than ever, a good education is the top priority. Private schools are different than public schools, and I think the real reason is because of flexibility. You know, we're not bound by any uh, state-mandated curriculums. We have the flexibility to teach our faith. We have the flexibility to work with our students in a special way. Because my philosophy of education really is more than just math and history and English. You know, here we teach character, we teach values, we teach empathy, and we're developing truly nice kids that go out to high school and beyond and are and have proven to be extremely successful. At St. Benedict's School in Homedale, New Jersey, they combine a private school education with diverse opportunities and community involvement. Serving students from preschool through eighth grade, the classes, clubs, and extracurricular activities make the school unique. Uh, St. Benedict School is a pre-K-3 all the way up through eighth grade school. So we encompass three-year-olds all the way to 14-year-old. Uh, here at St. Benedict School, you know, we want to teach the whole person. We want to teach academically as well as socially, emotionally, spiritually, and athletically. You know, here at St. Benedict's, we're looking to create productive members of society and productive members of the Catholic Church. I think it's important to have a religious connection into education because it's a rich part of our human history. It's very difficult to understand the fullness of history and the development of how humanity has emerged and how our modern culture exists without understanding the religious dimension of humanity. In a broad sense, I think our school is unique. Certainly the outdoor learning classroom, which we put in a few years ago, really has changed a lot of the way in which we can provide opportunities for our students. We moved out here, my husband and I, 17 years ago. And uh, we knew we'd raise a family out here in New Jersey and we were starting to research schools in the area. I immediately came across St. Benedict School because we were parishioners here. We were looking for an academic strong uh, curriculum. We were also looking for a faith-based curriculum. And we also wanted for our daughter to have lots of sports, clubs, activities, and the community service aspect to her education. So we did look at other schools, but once I felt that St. Benedict School checked all those boxes, there was no need to look anywhere else. Some parents may feel when they're looking at a private school versus a public school that it's it's tuition, it's money, it, it's a sacrifice for the family. But my husband and I, we looked at it as the opposite. We saw it as an investment in our children's future and we felt it was a gift. Uh, two of my daughters are in high school now and St. Benedict School has built such a solid foundation for them academically, spiritually, and um, extracurricularly with the programs they've been involved with. So we're gonna have our dot markers. I have two sons here. I have John who's in sixth, sixth grade, Matt who's in fourth. And John started in kindergarten and I thought, okay, I gotta get involved somehow. So I got involved with the PTA. Um, at that time there was a school board. I got involved with that. So while that was happening, I was hearing about a pre-K program that was starting. I was teaching pre-K at another school and I um, wanted to get my foot in the door here. So I met with the principal and together we designed the pre-K program and when my uh, youngest son Matt started in kindergarten, I started here in uh, pre-K. So we piloted the program and here we are now. We have two pre-K fours, a third pre-K four coming next year, and two pre-K three programs. So we grew, you know, immensely over the past five years. 
St. Benedict School gives you a foundation for life. We are teaching from the earliest age to, you know, love one another, to choose kindness, to care about others, to share. And when we start that with our three-year-olds, we can see it and we can work with it and we can just nurture it up until eighth grade. We really want to instill those morals and values at that age. And we know how to do it with the little ones. You know, we, we do it in a way that they don't even know that it's happening. It's something ongoing in our curriculum. And it's something that they just build and, they, and you know, we see these beautiful young women and, and young men that come out of our school. And it started so young. Interested in a private Catholic education for your children? Visit their website, stbenedicthomedale.org, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. There's never been a better time to take a more active role in your health, and that starts with a visit to a wellness clinic. Jason and Melissa are co-founders of Core Therapies and HBOT USA. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here on the show today. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourselves first? Sure. So um, we're both chiropractors. We've been in practice for about 17, 18 years. Um, we have a clinic in New Jersey, another clinic uh, outside of Pennsylvania, and you know we provide a, a multitude of therapies uh, for you know different different ages. Uh, all kinds of different either conditions or even just for uh, you know relatively healthy people looking to expand on you know how could they even improve their health beyond. Jason and I both found and we're so inspired by our experience with chiropractic with our own stories was that these doctors weren't only there to get us out of pain or injury whether it was like a sports injury or you know general aches and stiffness from just all the things that we do in daily life but these doctors really helped us realize that the body is meant to be healthy. Wow, and I know your clinic focuses on a very unique treatment, which is hyperbaric treatment, right? So why don't you tell me a little about what exactly is that? Hyperbaric oxygen is a way of pressurizing oxygen. So you're going inside of a chamber and the air and the oxygen inside that chamber is pressurized. And what that does is it allows us to absorb oxygen at a much higher level than what normally what you and I could get, let's say, in, in a typical at one atmosphere where we are right now. And so by pressurizing the air, pressurizing the oxygen inside the chamber, you're creating a, a, a gradient that really drives more oxygen into our cells than what we're normally able we to. We know this has been approved for things like wound care, for really, really very, very aggressive kinds of injuries from gangrene to diabetic sores and those kinds of things, right? But then you found off-label uses for it too, right? Correct. So we use hyperbaric traditionally for these life and limb conditions, you know, someone that's literally, you know, carbon monoxide poisoning, gangrene, uh, a lot of really terrible infections. And so it's often a, a last step before either somebody could pass or, or an, an amputation uh, mm -hmm. surgery. And in many times that actually, it is something that helps that patient. And so the mechanisms there are really the same as the mechanisms that we're using it for. We're saying, listen, oxygen is, is a, a nutrient. And with that nutrient, cells can heal repair and regenerate and so we're just applying that exact same principle to other conditions to allow people with more chronic issues to also start to heal and repair and regenerate faster. So this is why someone should choose this versus another option, right? It's sure. so interesting because so many times people when they come to us it's like they say I've tried everything. I've tried everything. I've tried the pills, the surgery, the and they're having all these experiences of side effects or you know not getting the results that they want. People are getting uh, great results and more importantly they're getting hope that they can get their life back. And, it, and that's your goal at CORE? So from the second that they walk into our office, I think what's really special about CORE is they know that we're not only just there to help them with their condition, uh, but to really listen and be present with them. And we all know that's such a huge piece of the healing journey. Well, wow, and if people wanted more information, where would they go? So they can go to our main website, which is coretherapies.net. Uh, that's our main clinic that has everything that we're doing in there. Uh, for the hyperbaric oxygen side, we have NewJerseyHBOT.com. That's the clinic in New Jersey. And then uh, our, our main site for hyperbaric is HBOTUSA, HBOTUSA.com. And there we house a lot of education. What is hyperbaric? What is it good for? Who could it help? Is it appropriate for you? And then, you know, we run around the country and, and actually the world training and certifying other doctors in hyperbaric medicine so that they could apply this therapy in their clinic. And so we have a, a map listing on that site too so that people in their local area could hopefully find clinics uh, you know, doing the same thing. What's really important to us is as the field of hyperbarics in particular is growing that 
we make sure that people know where to turn. So they can go to our HBOT USA website and learn more about it, just like Jason said, and then they can click and find a provider and they have the confidence to know that those are some of the best skilled providers in the world for hyperbarics. Well, thank you so much for being here with us this morning, honestly. Thank you. And of course, if you want more information, you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Take a look at what's coming up next. You slip and fall on a broken sidewalk or get injured on a construction site? It's hard to know where to turn first. Do you visit the doctor, call a lawyer, or just wait? It's very important to not delay um, going to a doctor. Uh, I think that that's the most important thing that needs to be done because um, documenting the injury as soon as it happens uh, provides like actual evidence of, um, of the accident itself. So if you're trying to be tough, if you're holding out and you don't want to go to the doctor and you wait, let's say a month or two is going to be questioned as to, you know, not having evidence that was close to the accident. So I think that this is the most, most important thing. The second most important thing is to speak to an attorney and uh, my advice would be to speak to a few and see uh, which one you feel the best about, like a, a relationship that works well between you and the attorney. The first thing you have to consider is trust. Uh, the individual that you're going to be working with, the attorney that you end up hiring, will be uh, working with you personally and working on your case for, it could be a number of years. Litigation takes time. So it has to be someone that you trust uh, is working in your best interest and someone that you believe uh, will be helping you as you go down the road. Joe Drabernecki is, uh, we like to call ourselves a boutique firm. Uh, it is primarily myself and my partner, Nicole Bernecki. We do personal injury, we do employment law, we do labor law, uh, a few other areas. And uh, we like to think that what we offer clients, especially, is the fact that we are the ones who are directly handling the case. We're not handing it off to an associate. We're not handing it off to a paralegal. Uh, we handle everything from the beginning of the case to the end of the case. We actually try to be different here. We try to like take cases that um, sometimes have more difficult liability to prove, um, that the facts are more complicated, that you have to be a little creative in how you apply the law to the facts. So we really try not to um, reject those just because they may take a, lo a longer time or they may involve more work or they may be more stressful for the client to understand and how they're, um, how they're, how they're litigated. Uh, litigation could be overwhelming. Uh, it, it, it's, it could be scary. Uh, being in courtrooms, is, it could be frightening to some people. Having to uh, discuss your injury uh, in a room with a bunch of other attorneys is also overwhelming. It could be frightening. If you have the right people behind you who explain the process and who tell you that you have a right to uh, be re uh, re remunerated for injuries that you have suffered, that you have the right to uh, you know, be, be helped in terms of something that someone else is at fault of, then the process isn't as frightening as it can be. Sometimes it could, be, it, it could take a long time, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a frightening process. Employees have, um, have a lot of rights, and sometimes they're not um, aware of those rights. And, but one of the most important rights is the right to a safe workplace and the right to get paid proper wages and proper overtime and uh, whatever, uh, whatever other ben benefits like labor law provides for. So um, it's really important to educate people about that, especially in New York, which is, I always say, it's like one big construction site. Construction workers should know that they're they're actually almost like a holy cow in, in terms of what rights they have, you know. Learning your rights is the most important part of any personal injury case. If you'd like more information, go to their website, joedrebrenecki.com, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Animals bring such joy to our lives. That's why we need to make sure we're bringing joy to theirs. Like our next story. Dogs are indeed our best friends, and we want the best for our pets. But sometimes it can be hard to sift through the numerous brands out there and the nutrition claims of every product. Uh, you know from the human industry, there's a quote that says, you are what you eat. Well, it's certainly the same for dogs and cats. So the more processed it is, the less available the vital nutrients are 
Uh, the, the example I always use is that if you take a potato and you put it in the, and cook it and put it in the ground, it'll rot. If you take a potato and put it in the ground raw, it'll sprout a new plant. Those enzymes and all the energy in those sprouts are really important for the animal. So when you cook a, a, a dog food or a cat food at very high temperature, you're inactivating those vital ingredients that are really important for the health and healing and well-being of the animal. Earth Animal was started with a plan to create healthy, nutritious food and treats for your pets. We started the company well over 40 years ago, you know, really to deliver, you know, products that were naturally oriented, uh, either humanely raised on the food side or naturally oriented like no chemical preservatives uh, and no pesticides in our flea, you know, in our flea and tick line. We empower families with uh, our ability to veterinary formulate products, which include foods, snacks, and supplements. Earth Animal specializes in healing modalities which do not have side effects and which are pesticide and insecticide free. Their food line, Wisdom, is veterinarian formulated, sustainably sourced, and made from only the best ingredients to provide optimal nutrition for your dogs. What we try to do uh, with Wisdom is to figure out a way to, one, bring in natural and, and humanely raised ingredients so we know that we uh, control the sourcing of those ingredients totally and secondly to minimally process it so the food would not be denatured by the high temperature of heat. With kibble as an example, kibble is all the ingredients mixed together ground up into one ball and then cooked at a very high temperature. What we did with Wisdom is separated all the ingredients into three components. So we have a meat component, makes up about 70% of the food. The second ingredient is what we call the, uh, the cubes, and the nutritional cubes have all the vitamins, minerals, and enzymes. And then the third ingredient is a combination of fruits and vegetables that are organically grown. So when you blend the three ingredients together, you get a complete and balanced food, and you sort of bypass what a kibble, how a kibble is made. The other product options, which are absolutely my favorite are the supplements. Our mission is to empower healing and there's nothing like an herb or a supplement that is brilliantly put together for the purpose of supporting longevity and quality of life. So our herbs, which are sourced in Vermont, really meet the animal's vibrational and healing needs. Earth Animal products are sold at independent pet shops worldwide. We enjoy selling to independent pet retailers because they're very educationally oriented and many of them are natural healers. So if you empower a retailer with a product that can get the job done, that can really support the mission of healing, um, it's, quite, it's quite a successful relationship. If you want to try the Wisdom Dog Food, Earth Animals line of delicious and healthy no-high chews, or their non-toxic herbal remedies and supplements, visit their website, earthanimal.com, to find a store near you, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. I'm banking on our next story, being one you shouldn't miss. You work hard for your money, so where you choose to keep that money is really important. We've been around for 170 years, um, so we're, we're, we've been around for quite a while. And we've morphed from just a bank into that full financial services company. First of all, you want to make sure that the, the bank is safe and sound, that it's got a, that it's got a good rating. Um, there's a, a company called Bauer that actually gives ratings to banks, that's one way to, to know. Five star rating is the highest level that you can get for safety and soundness. Convenience, is it convenient for you? to where you bank and where you live or where you work? Do they have the products and services that you need? Um, and do they have expanded products and services beyond? Whether you're looking for a bank to keep your personal earnings or an account for a business, Ulster Savings Bank has the right options for any situation. When I think of Ulster Savings Bank, I think of three things. I think of clients, I think of employees, and I think of community. The reason why I think of clients is because we hold our clients in high regards. We provide a high level of service and we look to wow the customer and provide a great customer experience. 
from an employee perspective, we do a lot for our employees. We care about our employees. We offer a great benefits package for a 1K package and also a tuition reimbursement package as well. We really care about our community and all the markets in which we live and serve. So it was a long conversation with the board as to which uh, bank would better fit CCE, our culture, and our mission. We all chose unanimously that Ulster Savings Bank would be that bank. They're not just an institution outside of the community, but they're part of the community. It's important for both management and employees of Ulster Savings Bank to help the community in more ways than just donations. This bank has been in the community and part of the community for over 100 years and uh, to have been part of a community for so long, you have to kind of embed yourself in a lifeline of a community uh, with all that the community does. We take a, a good part of our profits each year and we give them back to the community in the, in the form of donations. We actually, in 2001, formed our own charitable foundation. So there, there's an Ulster Bank Charitable Foundation, which we fund fully and also uh, funds the community. We've given out more than a half a million dollars a year or $12 million since we formed our, our foundation, if not more. We believe we can positively change the trajectory of people's lives. We believe in working together to get things done. And we believe in having a workplace we can all brag about. If you're looking for a secure, friendly community bank, visit their website, ulstersavings.com, or just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. These amazing stories keep coming, just like this one. Water safety should always be a top priority and learning to swim absolutely saves lives. Just ask a former captain of the Olympic swim team. I swam on the 1996 and 2000 Olympic teams winning a gold and bronze medal and I captained the 2000 team. My husband and I decided to start Sweet Blue Swim Academy. We're later in life entrepreneurs. His background is in higher education, my background is in swimming, and so we really married our skills to come together to build this swim school in Fairfield County. It's not just about learning to swim, it's about building self-knowledge, self-confidence, and resiliency. Always have an eye on your children when they are in the water, in the bathtub, or anywhere near water. It's so important, that's probably the most important layer, besides then getting them into swim classes to create another layer of defense and drowning prevention. Anyone can learn how to swim, even adults. We literally start with classes for as young as two to four months old, that's more water acclimation, um, but our real swimming starts from four months old and we go up to adults. And it really depends on what age you are. We focus on where someone is developmentally and how we approach it. So up to four years, it's about drowning prevention, and then we get more into technique and perfecting strokes as you get older. So the most typical age that we see here at our swim school is between the ages of two to six years old. Um, but we do have, I have to tell you, as young as just before one year of age. And as the American Pediatric Association says, you should be starting swim lessons by the age of one with your children. A swim lesson for a one-year-old is gonna be very different for an adult. For a one-year-old, we're really looking at drowning prevention, teaching the safety of you have to always be with an adult in the water, how to get them back to the wall, how to hold their breath underwater. And then as you get older and we can talk to you and you have the intellectual capacity, and I'm talking like six, seven is when that really starts, that we'll talk to you a little bit more about, you know, the physics of swimming and the side breathing and going into different strokes like butterfly and breaststroke. With adults, we can start anywhere from teaching them to learn to swim. We wouldn't treat them like a one-year-old, but we're gonna talk to them about breath control. It's the most important uh, piece and pillar of learning to swim is you have to be able to put your face in the water. Their methods are unique. All of our instructors are previous uh, competitive swimmers. We all have to go through a 20 to 30 hour training program to ensure uh, our method is consistent amongst all of us. The coolest thing about my job is seeing how excited these kids are to come swim with us and we know that they're growing and their confidences are growing and I think that's the most fulfilling part of our jobs. If you were a former competitive swimmer and you love teaching kids and you love the water, please reach out to us. We'd love you to join the team. Uh, we want to teach as many kids as possible in the water. 
And really, wherever you look to swim, we might not be for everybody, you should make sure that the teaching method resonates with how you would approach it if you want to learn to swim. For more information about Sweet Blue Swim Academy, visit SweetBlueSwim.com or just go to our website, TheBalancingAct.com. Are you ready for something new? Take a look at this. There are so many precious moments in life, engagements, weddings, births, anniversaries, that are marked with a jewelry purchase. Helping make these occasions even more special are the folks at Kevin's Fine Jewelry. At Kevin's Fine Jewelry, we're very, very into the customer experience. It's really important to us, the, myself and the entire staff, that if someone comes in and they walk away with an experience that they want to go home and share with their family and friends and tell them what a great time that they had here and that they got exactly what they were looking for and that we met and exceeded their expectations and sent them home with something that was beyond their wildest imagination. They have something for everyone, no matter your taste or budget. So when you come into the store, the first question we would ask is what shape you're interested in. And then from there we can decide on what style someone might like. Is it something more trendy, something more classic? And of course, would she like the ring in platinum, white gold, or yellow gold, which is actually becoming more popular now. They enjoy working with heirlooms from previous generations and creating them for future generations. When someone comes into my store and they have a piece of jewelry that they've inherited from their grandma or grandpa or great grandmother and they trust me to remodel it for them or restyle it or even just resize it and uh, I get a great thrill out of seeing these diamonds which are billions of years old being remounted into something that's going to go on for more generations, possibly dozens of generations and it's just for me very, very fulfilling. They also work with top designers. After all, jewelry is fashion. One of the brands that we carry is a brand called Holchi Balloonie. It's actually imported out of Antwerp, Belgium. And it's a very, very fine line of jewelry that's uh, stretchable bracelets mostly. And there's no clasp. It's a very, very proprietary process that they use that makes these bracelets stretch and they never break. They're guaranteed for life. And they're so easy to wear. And people who buy one almost every single time come back to buy a second, a third, and a fourth. The look is a layering look in the fashion and the jewelry industry right now is to, to layer bracelets or to layer necklaces. People oftentimes will not just wear one piece, they'll stack them up and it's very, very nice. And I've had people come in and say, hey, I love your stack to a cl client of mine. And it's kind of a new, a new term that's evolved in the industry is I love your stack. One of my favorite types of transactions is when a client comes in and says, hey, let's make something and I, I trust that you're gonna, you know what I want. So let's just go ahead and make it. And I had this one client come in and she said, I just want a, a nice oval diamond and I don't want it to be too small and, and I trust that you know what I want. So we just went ahead and made the ring and the point at which we revealed the ring to her was such a special moment. She, like she nearly fell off her chair with the excitement. It was just a, a very, very fulfilling moment in my career, one that I'll never forget. For more information about Kevin's Fine Jewelry, visit kevinsfinejewelry.com or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Thanks so much for joining us on this local edition of The Balancing Act. We'll see you next time.